What we're doing here today is we're screening children ages 14 to 18 for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. How are you? It's a genetic disorder that is a thickening of the heart muscle. Today, to determine that, we're gonna do an echocardiogram, an EKG, and uh, each person gets a free consultation with a cardiologist. Hi. We have been providing these screenings for a little over 10 years now, twice a year, February and August, and we've screened over 6,500 children in Central Texas. What's really tragic is oftentimes the first symptom of this, this disorder is sudden cardiac death. Sometimes the first symptom is the last. That's why I think it's very, very important to stay ahead of this. Although the syndromes are very rare, for us to do a simple ultrasound electrocardiogram to potentially identify this disorder, it could be life-saving. Lock your elbows, sit up off your heels, go ahead. Effective CPR is instrumental in buying us very critical time until the patient can make it to an emergency room or until we can get access to a defibrillator. This means a lot to us, uh, not just me individually, but everybody that's here has some vested interest in either whether they had a family member or just it's a personal cause that uh, they feel deeply about. We were at a practice on a Thursday evening. It was uh, not a very hot day, and Joseph was out practicing with his team, doing uh, wind sprints and things they normally do. It wasn't a very uh, strenuous exercise. Uh, one of the coaches called me over and said Joseph had fallen in the outfield, and they thought he had just hurt his leg. Um, he was actually face down. We rolled him over, and just the look in his eye, um, you knew something was wrong. The paramedics at one point came and told us that they didn't think he was going to make it and that we needed to go in the room to uh, see him. Uh, and luckily, they were able to stabilize him. You know, he was up and running around and playing baseball. And the next minute, um, he's not breathing and he's in a coma for five days. feel extremely lucky uh, that he survived this and it's one of the reasons we come out and volunteer for things like this where it's important people understand that it could be their child. My son had a sports physical uh, about a week or so prior uh, to, his, to him collapsing on the field and he passed it with flying colors. It looks like you feel pretty well here. And I've noticed that a lot of parents have an attitude of it, it won't happen to me. Um, we're fine. My child's played sports since they were young and don't feel like it could happen to them. The risk of performing these tests is really zero. There's no radiation involved, a simple ultrasound and ECG. The benefit can be great. So I think it's a great privilege as healthcare providers to be instrumental in potentially detecting these life-threatening illnesses. At Heart Hospital of Austin, we have built this fabulous reputation taking care of people, and everybody that is here has volunteered their time, the staff, the physicians. We love being here, frankly. And so what makes all of this enjoyable for us is that if we save even one life, uh, all of this will have been worth it.